who participated in site selection left the checkbook on the table. I think it got run up to the ops office. I think the name is David Herringer. So if you see him, he hasn't lost his money, just his brains. <laughs> Alex. Main hotels and raids. Uh, right. Main hotels. 
We have about, I think it's seven hotels on site. Um, they range from, uh, the cheapest of that hotels is the Ibis Siles, which will be £85 a night, this includes all taxes and breakfast, um, for a single. That's for a single person in a room. Because it includes breakfast, the rates for single and double occupancy vary because you have a second breakfast add on to the cost. So it's um, £85 for a single and I believe, I believe it's £100 for a double twin. Uh, the next one up is the Ibis Hotel, same chain. Actually, three of the hotels are part of the same chain. It's the Ibis Hotel, that I believe is £95 for a single and a £105 for a double. Um, going on up, then we have the Novotel and the Ramada. I can't remember the single prices for those, they're £135 for a double, and for $50 you can convert that in, because the Ramada is a suite hotel, we have about 70 suites available, and you can increase that to a suite for an extra $50, per, uh, £50 per night. <laughs> I spent too long here. <laughs> um, and then we have the Crown Plaza, which is the most expensive of our hotels, that's £145 per night currently, um, and uh, you can get rent an executive room for another £30 per night. But we are working on all these rates at the moment. We are finalising the rates until we actually open, a few weeks before we actually open. But they won't be any higher than that. We're trying to get them lower. Is it? Do you have any such thing like a triple? What? A triple room for three people? Yeah, so the, the question is, do we have something like for a triple and one occupancy? I believe, yes, there are some hotels, I don't know if food hotels, but there are some that do have triple occupancy. What's the current exchange rate between dollar and pound? Uh, it's around 1.55 at the moment, 1.56. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the FX rate, I don't know what the actual... Which way? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no, it's... Um, one pound is one 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 point five five dollars. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I have two questions. Uh, first of all, do you know how long before and after the convention the convention rates will be available? <laughs> yeah, we, um, we're certainly looking. I think from the beginning of the week before the convention, so Monday, through to the towards the end of the following week sort of thing, but I don't think about the actual shoulder touch, sorry. I'm yes. looking at the person answering the question. Yes. Um, we haven't fixed the shoulder dates level. We're looking at somewhere at the beginning of the week beforehand, but we'll need that for staffing to move in. And we're looking then to the sort of towards the end of the week um, afterwards so that people can stay, they can stay in the convention hotel until they're dashing off to Eurocon in Dublin. <laughs> Right, so oh, and, and the second question, my, my recollection is that there is a light rail from the Dockwoods where you are to the, uh, into the city itself. Uh, what, what are the hours for that? Um, I believe that I'm right way away was to midnight and from about 4 or 5 a.m. I'm not sure about the starting time. Uh, and the run time is around, <coughs> well, I'm telling myself, it's usually around 40 to 15 minutes from Excel to the actual London tube system, which is generally around uh, Tower Gateway, which is around Tower Bridge, basically in Tower London. So you would have to, it's about 40 to 50 minutes from the main tourist area. Any other questions? Are you having a blood drive? A what? <laughs> a blood drive. Um, a blood drive. Do that in the UK, but can look into it. Okay. Um, Repeat it into the microphone, please. For, for legal reasons, um, it's easy to do in the UK um, for, for the system. But we, we can look, we probably will look into it. I, don't, I doubt it, to be honest. It's just usually too just difficult to organise with the national health system. Jenny? Do you need additional staff and everything you're fine? We always need additional stuff, everybody can get. Um, we're asking everybody to go to our website. There's a volunteer page where you can fill in your details, your experience, everything else, areas you're interested in working in. Send that to us and we'll make sure it gets to the right people. It is, it is working. We actually now do have a volunteer system that actually is passing on volunteer information, which is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Any 
Any other questions? That seems to be it. So, I'd like to hand back to Donald. Thank you very much.